What is going on, SHJ Army? We're back for another How To Tuesday. Today I'm talking about a topic that was suggested to me by Coach Derek, and it's something that fits into everything that I've been talking about with the nutrition, with the calorie counting, with finding the specific diet that's right for you. And it's really important to know what I'm going to be talking about today, and that's how to track your workout and your activity within your calorie counting. But before I give away exactly what I'm going to tell you to do, I want to go through a few announcements. I missed last Thursday's video. I'm working on a huge project for the end of the year for Superhero Jacked, as well as the launch that's coming of Brandon's cookbook, recipe book, and macro guide. So that's coming in January, but we might have it up for Christmas, as well as the huge project that I have coming as well. It's going to be a huge update, so uh, I had to take a day off. I hopefully won't have to do that anymore. Other than that, I was able to finish up our book club book, get that review up. Time of Contempt is officially reviewed and up. I did that yesterday, so I have it set for this video. Feel the fear, but do it anyway. Um, about 75% through the book. I was going to quickly read through it and review it for this video, but I'll have it up by either Thursday or next week. And mainly, I'm starting Mortal Engines. I was supposed to get it for Christmas from Ryan, but I bribed him with his Christmas present to give it to me now so I could start it and try to have it up by the end of the month. And other than that, I really want to get into this topic. It's something I'm really excited about. It's going to help you guys either through the holidays or when you really crack down and get into your diet. I know a lot of people have struggled with this, and it's really hurt their diet and their overall progress. So uh, cue the music, crack the monster, and let's do it. All right, so this is probably going to be a pretty short video because I have a very specific answer on how to track your activity and your workouts within your calorie counting. And it might not be what you want to hear, but the most simple thing is do not track it. You do not account for those calories. I know some people want to track exactly what they're burning throughout the course of the day and on top of that, what they're burning through their workout and then eat extra. But there's a lot of reasons why you're not going to be doing that. One, the calculator itself that you're using, whether you're using our programs or another calculator, is going to be tracking your overall maintenance level calories, which is how much you burn on a daily basis. That's how much I'm going to burn if I'm just sitting there doing nothing or I'm just living based on my height and weight. So that's one. Number two, if you're using any of our programs, whether it's the Greek God class or any of the superhero programs, in those calculators, it's built in, it's asking you your activity level, and it's accounting for how much you're working out per week, whatever activity you're doing for work, and there's a way to calculate that and add that into your calories. And it even shows in our program, with activity level, this is the amount of calories we're giving you per week, per day, and then we're subtracting whether it's a cut or adding for the bulk. So that's built into our calculators. So if you then take that number and then go to the gym and then subtract or add calories because of your workout, now you're completely messing up the calculator that you're using in our program. So let's say, for example, you had 2,000 calories in a cut. You're cutting at 2,000 and you hit your goal and that's what our program tells you to hit every single day. But then you're going to the gym and then you do some cardio or you're doing some circuits or you're doing some high intensity interval training or whatever you're doing in the gym. You work out for an hour and you look at your watch and it tells you, okay, I burned 800 calories. Now you eat another 800, let's say, let's say it says 1,000 just to make the calculation easy. You're like, okay, I just burned 1,000 calories. I'm going to eat an extra 1,000. Now you're at 3,000 for the day. Not only did you kill your cut by hitting that 2,500 maintenance level, but you're also turned it into a bulk and turned it into 500 over your maintenance level. So you're actually gaining weight by doing that. And I've had that happen to people because some of these fitness watches show an obscene amount of calories being burned at the gym. And these could be right. Just like when you go on a bike or when you go on a treadmill, they can be right. But the problem with it is, is you're adding another factor that only could be or may be right. So it's already impossible to track down to a very, very specific number when it comes to tracking. So we leave that up to our nutrition and we account for it within our activity level overall based on our body type. Then if let's say you're doing a cut and you're burning more calories at the gym, let that fall into place on your cut. If your cut is only 250 to 500 calories down anyway, and let's say you burn an extra 100 or two because you worked out a little harder, it's not like that aggressiveness is taking away from your muscle or keeping you from retaining your muscle. So let that just factor into your cut. If you're on a bulk, for example, and you're burning an excessive amount of calories and you're not gaining weight because of that, now that's something to look into. But then you would just tweak your activity level in your calculator and then add in calories on top of that. But for a cut, it really, really could affect your overall cut if you're adding in 
calories on top of it. There are some people that might like to do that when they're really further into calorie counting and they really have it down to a science, but there's professional bodybuilders who are doing this method as well. Like take Chris Elkins, for example, who just competed on stage and he looked incredible. He does not track his activity levels within his macronutrients and his overall calorie count. That's just added on top of it because it's within his calculator. So he has people in his comments asking him, hey, what are your calories before you work out? What are their calories after? What's your net? What's your... He does not track that way. He has X amount of calories per day. He eats X amount of calories per day. That's it. There's no X, Y, Z or fluctuation based on the activity level because we're already calculating that with the program calculator. So that was pretty simple. I didn't want to break down exactly how to cut, how to bulk, how to do anything like that because we've already done videos like that. It's within the programs as well. It's all over the site. So if you want to figure out things like that, check out other How To Tuesday videos, check out articles, read up on that and research that way. But this is how you track your activity level within your macros and your calorie counting. I hope this helped. I hope this clears up some confusion when it comes to tracking your workout and looking at the calories on any of your fitness watches. I know those can confuse things sometimes. Uh, most calculators are going to track your activity level as well. So keep that in mind before you start eating an obscene amount of food on top of what your calories are already for the day. I don't even put my calories into my fitness pal. I don't put my workouts into my fitness pal. I just put my nutrition into my fitness pal after using my calculator that I have from one of the programs on the site. I put those calories and that breakdown for my macros in the calculator and I do not put how much I'm burning for the day. I just use it as a way to look at what I'm eating and that's it. I know you can put the workout in here and that can also make it confusing so I hope this shed some light on what we utilize and how you should be using your activity level and calculating that overall with your overall calorie count. So smash thumbs up button. Let me know if you want to talk about something specific and I'll talk to you later. Uh, hey guys, I love pepperoni, and if you subscribe to the channel, like the videos, and check out the links below, I'll get to eat more pepperoni, like, because I'm a puppy, and I love, <laughs> and I love, I love pepperoni, please, please, get me more pepperoni, I just made it, oh yes, pepperoni's so good, please subscribe and like,